about 2009, we did our investment case. And within that investment case, it clearly came out that we had a problem in uh, maternal uh, mortality, which was almost about 960 per 100,000. So we engaged, you know, partners. The World Bank was one of the partners that attended that uh, 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 conversation or engagement. So we, we approached by World Bank to say, we have got a program which is called result-based financing and it would be a very good program in order for us to achieve more or positive results in as far as uh, uh, mortality was concerned. Uh, the Rural Arab Bank program started around 2011 and uh, in 2014, this year it was when the Urban Voucher Program was established in Arar and in Blawayo. The focus of the program was to target those women who could not afford to pay user fees that was charged at council clinics. Uh, we are the project implementing entity, we hold the fund and we, we, we pay uh, the facilities based on the services provided. So we pay for antenatal care, we pay uh, for uh, delivery and we pay for postnatal care. And we also involve community health workers who are helping us to identify this pregnant woman who should be assessed by these social workers. In November, Tichi Chagavanu, Vakash Takura, Tichiva Identifier, Kanamachi Kodzera, to appear in the Voucher Program. Numbigarwaza, Tinechwa Kuzera, to appear in the Patara, Nekukasika, Kanapakaita Machanjis, Agava Nekuti, Amblens, Yakurigama, Vanofoni, Rokush Patrekoko, Amblens, Yava Takura, Vomba Vindu and Okush Patra, Shedu Shombe, Shakata Sukuna, or a real hospital, Vomba Vanu and Rabasiro Koko. As is Jesse is also, Sune Chikotserwa, Kanao Chibatsirwa, Ne Eben Voucher Program, the Arab BF. We contracted uh, in this Arab BF program urban voucher program so that we be the interlink between the identification until the, the service utilization as we do the assessments. So the, the way that we do the assessments is that we, we actually engage the CCWs who are located in the areas that we cover. Then we go with them doing home visits, assessing the would-be beneficiaries using the post-part assessment too. Then, those who qualify, we issue them with the vouchers that they will use in accessing services at our local clinics. The voucher is a ticket that can be redeemed for antenatal care services, postnatal and delivery services, hence the term urban voucher. The program has helped the pregnant women in Hopi to be able to book at the clinic, to be able to deliver in situ of our other clinics and to also access services postnatally up to six weeks. Women are now accessing services for free under the voucher program. A nini in Dagasu, Chirongachi Arab BF, Nekuda Kuma CCWs, Aifamba Muzimba, Ajichaga Van Wakash Takura, Vaini Kurudre, Kuti Van Wasasunu Kre Muzimba. In Nino on Dagasu, Ramon, twenty nineteen, Ne Arab BF. So, So, uh, the program also has done well in terms of infrastructure development. We are also able to give staff incentive, which is a percentage of the amount that we get. We are also able to hire local nurses because our clinic is critically short-staffed and that has benefited in the improvement of the maternity services at the clinic. The other benefit of uh, Arab BF was the purchasing of commodities and sundries for the pregnant women. In terms of management, you would see those clinics where we had RBF, we, we had uh, better management uh, structures, uh, better supervision, uh, that resulted in improved quality of services at all, all, our, all those clinics that had that RBF. Our registers are completely documented. Clients are followed up, so we do not miss any client. This has reduced um, home deliveries, 
born before arrival, maternal deaths, neonatal deaths, and for that we are grateful to the program. Paara biye mu kupa clinic kuti tikuanzo kuto ma decision making kuti turku kuin vovwa o tuchidezwa o kana pana chidau tenga turku dezwa onzi wiai to isamsoro pamwe chete saka tunda tenda chirungwa chiara biye cha kuito guti chipata ra ne community ne chipata ra juwe ne link kudara kwa kusina ishoju ne uti wanu ingo gara ne ma yes evaru kuzimba kuto chipata ra kubatu kwa nzoka nak we always say. There is no program without challenges, but the benefits outweigh the challenges. When we compare the number of clients which we are seeing against the nurses that we have, the nurse patient ratio is still very high. And we are also limited by the funds that we'll be having. We are not able to like contract people for a long time. Of course, one of the challenges we've had uh, with the program is the, the stop, start, stop, start situation, I think, uh, occasioned by uh, uh, the interruptions in the financing of the program, which are things that are probably beyond our control and beyond our partner control. So the program started with 11 sites and we've scaled up to 24 additional sites to increase the coverage in the two cities. And currently we are also supporting the cities and the Ministry of Health to come up with a system to convert these uh, vouchers, maybe to health equity card, or to add other methods so that it can be sustained even after the project uh, comes to an end. Thank you.